We continue our series with the checkpoint firewall and in today we're going to have a look at the firewall control. Now this itself can probably be a multi-part series in terms of all the different features and settings that you can configure in here. I'm going to focus on one little area which is blocking internet traffic to a certain machine or blocking them visiting certain websites. So I'll quickly take you through a quick overview of the firewall policy and what it looks like within the checkpoint firewall and then I will give you a quick demo. So right here in front you can see the access policy is you have three options, you have strict, standard and off and then within that you can allow traffic to the internet on all services, uh, allow traffic between internal and trusted networks, block incoming traffic and then there's some servers that you can add in there also as well. Alongside that you have application and URL filtering as well so if you wish to do this you can have this on as well. So at the moment it is both application and URL filtering or you can just have URL filtering only. In terms of all the tick boxes, uh, we've blocked security risk categories, uh, file sharing applications is allowed and inappropriate content is currently allowed on this network. Within that also you have the option to limit bandwidth consumptions for applications if you wish to do so. Further down the page you have stuff around user awareness and tracking and logging and currently you can see access policy rules, no manual rules are set at this moment. So to set up a manual rule, you would go to policies and you can see just here that the main two for outgoing to internet access is just up here and incoming internal and VPN traffic is all the logs down, all the settings down here. Now currently we have two rules in the auto generated rules. Generally within the firewall you would have a source, destination, uh, source IP or subnet, application IP or subnet um, and then ports and protocols that it uses. Um, some allow you to do in terms of URL filtering, they allow you to use the URLs as well. So it's really easy to set this up, so I'm going to use this machine as an example. This is probably really small on your screen, so I do apologize, but you can see the IP of this machine is 172.165.11. So let's move that out of the way. What we're going to do is go to new, and then you can from here create an outgoing rule. So it says it right here, add rule, outgoing access to the internet. And actually in simple terms, what I really like about this is it tells you what it is. With what we've got set up at the moment, it's traffic from any source to the internet of any application or service is blocked and logged. Now if I was to do this, I'd block internet access across the whole entire network. But I don't want to do that, so I want to specifically do my machine itself. So 172.165.11, that's the IP address. You press enter, you can now see the source IP has now been specified here. Just looking at some of the options, you can have identified users, blocked host, infected host, DMZ networks, IP phones, LAN networks. So there's modern network objects, uh, production subnets, pre-production subnets. So there's so much you can do on here. Um, going out to the internet is what we want, but you can again change the destination to wherever you want. So if you don't want your users accessing, for example, the DMZ network, you can do that as well. And then we move on to application service. Now, you can do anything you want here. I think for there's so many different categories in here that I can probably scroll down and you can create your own, create groups. The only thing I would say would be good if we could, I mean, it's probably easier to create groups, but it would be good to have a list of these and have a checkbox in terms of what you want to allow. But for now, just as this test, I'm just going to choose Amazon and I want to block that. In terms of logging, you can choose to log it or have an alert, whichever you wish to do. So if there's something a bit more uh, security sensitive you can have that alert you straight away as well so I'm going to go ahead and click apply a couple of things just before I do sorry um, only apply during these times so if you want uh, between 9 and 5 you want to block that out or sometime in the evening if you don't want to be able to access this you can do that and you can limit the download traffic to the application and the upload traffic as the firewall runs through the rules it goes from top to bottom so if you have block all internet access at the top and then you have just block Amazon just underneath it, it's going to take the most restrictive rule. So it's going to take number one, it's saying block internet access to everything, and then it's just going to block it. So I'm just going to bring another window up here quickly, and I'm just going to go to amazon.co.uk. So if I try and browse to Amazon, you can see, make that a little bit bigger, you can see that the page is blocked. So straight away, I'm not able to do that, but if I go to, for example, Google, uh, I can browse the internet no problem. Now if I wanted to block that client specifically to the internet I would just go to categories and click any. Click apply and I'm no longer able to get to the internet. And I'm just going to show you that by going ahead and 
pinging Google's DNS and you can see I can no longer have access to the internet but that being said you can see the little firewall in the background is connected to the internet so just like that one click of a button and everything is blocked just to quickly show you in the logs on the backhand side you can see all the traffic that's been dropped so for all the internet that you've been trying to go to and it's showing you what rule it's been dropped on so for example if you ever try if you have hundreds and hundreds of rules if you're ever troubleshooting and you're trying to figure out why it can't get down to this rule have a look at this and it will tell you what rule it's being dropped out on which is really useful and helpful so this is a really quick video on how to do this I do have some more of these kind of videos coming in the future, but if there is something specific you want to see, let me know down in the description below. I hope you found this video useful. This is Inside Wire, and I'll see you in the next one.